welcome to the Hashimoto's Doctor Podcast. You're now part of a growing community of people determined to take their health back through education and self-empowerment. But because of the healthcare system today, we don't have access to the types of healthcare that we want. So we have to do things differently. We've got to do things smarter, and we do that by becoming our own advocates. This podcast will give you the perspective and thoughts of one of the world's leading Hashimoto's doctors. So let's get started. Hey guys, Dr. Shook here. I hope you're doing well today. In today's podcast, I want to talk to you about the the connection between cold hands, cold feet, cold nose, and your ability to really improve your health with Hashimoto's. Okay, so we know that cold hands, cold feet, cold nose are very common symptoms in people that are hypothyroid. And the hypothyroidism itself, the decreased thyroid hormone and or thyroid hormone activity, so you may not have sensitivity to the hormone, you may not be able to transport it, all contribute to a lower metabolic rate and typically to something that is very commonly missed or not thought of, I would say that. Very commonly associated with decreased blood flow. So you gotta wonder why are your hands and why are your feet, why is your nose cold? Well, it's because you're not perfusing blood to those areas very well. So you're not getting blood to the extremities. And this poses a lot of problems. Not only is it uncomfortable, it it also creates problems when we're trying to recover. So when you have Hashimoto's, your immune system is actually attacking the thyroid. Okay, so it's destroying the tissue. There's, There's literal destruction of the tissue. And a lot of times people with Hashimoto's have other autoimmune problems, they have gut-based problems like with digestion, adrenal problems, there there are a lot of other issues at play. And when you don't have good blood flow, you you really impair, you, you have an impaired ability to heal as efficiently. And think about it for a second, okay? What does the blood carry that uh, assists you and allows you to, to heal? Well, it carries oxygen, which is critical for every single cell in the body because every cell in the body requires oxygen to produce energy. It carries glucose, blood sugar. And why is that important? Well, because every single cell in the body requires it, right? Every single cell requires, requires glucose to, uh, to produce energy. It carries all of your vitamins and your minerals that are needed. So it carries everything that your body and your cells, the tissues need to actually function normally. And that that includes recover, that includes repair. So when you have this diminished blood flow, cold hands and cold feet, you're not getting good perfusion. You have to look at a lot of the factors that contribute to poor blood flow. And you know, sometimes while we're working on all these things that really try to support blood flow, you know, I want to share, what I really want to share with you guys is a tool that I'll commonly use to support uh, better, better uh, blood supply and perfusion. So there are, there are a few different products on the market. Um, I want to give you the first one that I do not recommend you use, uh, but that you might come across. So sometimes people will look for something to improve blood flow and they'll pick up a product at a natural food store or a health food store and it contains arginine. Now, arginine is an amino acid. It is, uh, it is one of the building blocks of your, your body. It's, it, it is, uh, it's necessary, it's, it's uh, important for your health, but when you take it in high quantities, one of the things it does is it dilates or opens up your blood vessels and you get better, better blood flow. Now, that sounds great until you realize that arginine actually stimulates some some negative biochemical processes in the body. It stimulates the nitric oxide system. And I'm not gonna go into great detail regarding that system, except to tell you that arginine itself, though it increases blood flow, it stimulates this nitric oxide system that can contribute to increased tissue destruction with autoimmunity. So we don't wanna do that. Obviously, we don't wanna do that. But there are some other tools that Uh, could be useful and beneficial that increase blood flow and that we use clinically. 
Now, one of the tools that I really like is I like natto. Natto is derived, or natto kinase, is derived from uh, fermented uh, soy. So soybeans, right? It's it's uh, natto is a is a food that is a fermented food that is that is consumed in great quantities in a lot of Asian various Asian cultures, and natto kinase is an enzyme that can that it can be derived from that that is incredibly powerful at increasing blood flow and blood blood supply. Now, it, I do want to tell you that anything that increases blood flow like this, any type of of enzyme can thin the blood. So, you know, obviously, I'm not giving you advice on exactly what to use, but I'll tell you that clinically we've used natokinase um, so many times, especially with autoimmunity, and it, and it can really help to increase blood flow and delivery of oxygen, blood sugar, and nutrients to the tissues so that the person can more quickly recover. You'll also notice warmer hands, warmer feet, and, um, and, and it just, you know, I've used it personally quite a bit, and it, it can really... Um, energize your body because think about this not only when your when your hands and feet are cold your extremities are not getting blood right they're not you're not getting good perfusion of, of the blood to the extremities you're also if the tip of your nose is cold you're also getting decreased blood flow and perfusion to the brain and you got to think about this guys your heart has to push the blood up through the neck into the brain to to perfuse it to get the oxygen there do you know what happens when you have a slightly decreased perfusion, you're going to have some real issues. You're going to have uh, you're going to have brain fog, and you're going to have other issues with um, just mental clarity and focus. So I wanted to share with you guys, you know, some of the things that you have to do is you you know you always need to be working on the root driving causes of of your your if you're autoimmune and you have Hashimoto's, you really always have to start guys with with solid nutrition. I mean, that's one thing that's critical backbone to getting well. And you utilize on top of that specific nutrients to help the systems of your body that need assistance recover. Now, if you have the opportunity, if you have the means to do so, then you need to work with someone to get very specific and detailed testing so that you can more precisely put together a plan that is unique to you because every single person is different. But you can utilize tools like natokinase to help with blood flow and perfusion, which can help with recovery, which is amazing. And, and it, it's a very, very useful tool. Um, you know, it's something to consider, but it, it needs to be appropriate for you as an individual. And if you guys are trying to figure out like, well, where can I, you know, how can I get access to some of this stuff? How do, you know, I, I don't know where, what to do or, or where to turn or who to work with, then what you can do is, you know, you, you can, you might want to consider um, if you're if you're in a position where you want to try to do some things on your own, then you might want to consider trying some of our the programs that my team and I have created to really try to help people help themselves on their own. And if you're interested about that, we have a we have a community called the Transformation Community, and you can go to Hashimoto'sDoctor.com/tcs, and you can go there and you can learn more about our Transformation Community and the programs that are available within that, and and really what it is we're we're trying. You know, to really, we've we've worked on creating a great community of people that are trying to improve each other's health and and contribute to, um, you know, a greater goal of optimal health and vibrant health. You can try that now. If you if you're really stuck and you want to, you know, try to speed things up and and you want to be specific and try to get results faster, then you need to consider working one on one with someone. If you're really looking for someone you don't know of a doctor that you're not sure about where to go or, or who to turn to, you may want to consider doing distance consulting with me if we have any spots available. You can, you can always work with our office anywhere you are in the world. I mean, we work with people all over the U.S. <clears throat> and we help them to get advanced diagnostic testing to pinpoint changes in their and, and adaptations in their physiology that we need to support to best help them you know, have this have optimal health, dampen autoimmunity, and really, um, you know, really uh, achieve the best health possible. That's really what our goal is: is is vibrant health. It's not just it's not just feel better. It's it's feel better and thrive. It's 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 to have all optimal health, optimal function, and you know, my saying is no limits. 
no labels, no limits. Really focus on trying to transcend and go beyond a diagnosis. I don't want you to, you know, if you have Hashimoto's, okay, that's our starting point. But my opinion is that's a state of adaptation in the body. And that's not something that, that you need to always associate with. So anyway, I just wanted to um, share that with you guys and I hope this helps you out and I look forward to hanging out with you guys again on the next podcast. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed hanging out behind the scenes with Dr. Shook. You can also talk with and learn from Dr. Shook through Facebook Live on our Facebook page at the office of Dr. Brad Shook. Don't forget, you can also get access to our videos, guidebooks, and thyroid programs at www.drbradshook.com. Oh yeah, and don't forget one more thing. We can change the world one person, one family, and one community at a time. Until next time, remember, today is your day, and no one will tell you who you are and what you can be.